increase the level of the average fees. What else? So I've talked about social identity. I've talked, I said I've talked very briefly about uh, an identity that's kind of the core of who we are. Well, in giving, uh, one of the identities that's kind of the core of who we are is morality and moral uh, identity. And moral identity is a bit tricky because it turns out we've just got one moral identity, we have two moral identities. We have our ideal moral identity, how our moral would we ideally like to be, and we have our actual moral identity, how moral do we feel today. So if you're going to measure that, you have to measure it by measuring those two things. And if you want to measure moral identity, you do it by using moral words. And the moral words in our Western society are caring, compassionate, fair, friendly, generous, helpful, hardworking, honest, and kind. The words on the screen. So if you want to measure it, will you say, well, how caring are you actually today? And we measured up on a nine-point scale. And you also say, well, how caring ideally would you like to be? And again, you can measure that on a nine-point scale. Now, what's interesting when you do that is that there's a gap, right? We, we would like to be up here somewhere as human beings. And actually, uh, when you talk to us about it, we say, well, actually, we're no, just down here. So there's a gap. Uh, in, in morality between where we'd like to be and where we are. Now what's even more interesting about that is that women have a bigger gap than men. Right? I have no idea why that would be, whether it's genetically hardwired into, into women that they would have that gap. Unlikely. Or it's to do with the way we socialise women into society. There's a big gap. So the question then, in terms of making people feel good about themselves, enhancing the warm glow that people get from giving, is to say, well, is there a, a way we can help them with that? Can we compress that gap and make them feel better about themselves? Well, here's another one of those telephone scripts. Again, always a control condition. Um, thank you for being becoming a member. How do you want to, how much do you want to give tonight? Thank you. That's it. Close the conversation. And then the moral condition. Thank you for being or becoming a, I mean, you pick two moral words. Caring and compassionate member of the station. Friendly and kind member of the station. What does that do to give it? Well, in a sense, you can ignore the male column here because there are a couple of large gifts that distort that. The learning actually from this experiment was that men do not care about morality. You can tell us we're not parents of men, but we care about none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still going to give you the same amount. And women, on the other hand, care about it. And they give you over 10% more if you prime morality at the point at which you're asking for that. The good thing about that um, is that we know um, that that's going to give get you people to give more, but we also know that makes people feel better about themselves. And I'll show you that tangibly on a slide that's coming up in just a second. So what we're talking about here is hitting that sweet spot where people give us more, um, but they do so because they feel better about themselves for giving to the organisation. So. It's uh, one of those identities that you know, we could all think about uh, playing with to one 